This is what your no contact tells the narcissist. Narcissists hate no contact. It makes them wonder why you rejected them. Why you don't want them. Why you left. And they're going to become obsessive. They're going to stalk and harass you. They're going to text and call you all the time. Even if you don't respond. Even if you block them. They will make fake accounts on social media. They will pop up at your house or work. They will bully and intimidate you. To make you want it to stop. It will get worse before it gets better. But you need to go no contact. It's the best thing you can do. When you are dealing with a narcissist. Because it's not going to get better. They're never going to change. And as long as you're around them. You're never going to heal. But going no contact will drive them insane. Because it tells them that you don't want them. It tells them that you think you can do better without them. Which makes them feel rejected and unwanted. It triggers a narcissistic injury. It makes them very angry. They will feel abandoned. They will become obsessive. They will text and call you a hundred times a day. They will contact your family and friends. They will do whatever it takes to get your attention. To irritate you. To get under your skin. To let you know they're still there. Because your no contact is telling them that you want nothing to do with them. It's telling them that something is wrong with them. And they don't like it. They don't like how that makes them feel. So they will try to provoke you. They will try to sabotage your attempts to move on. So they don't have to feel that way anymore. So they don't have to feel like they're the problem. When you go no contact with a narcissist, you should never take them back. Because they're just going to come back to punish you for leaving them. They're going to want revenge. So you must stay no contact. Because time will heal your wounds. It will make you stronger. And then when they come back, you will be able to deal with them. They won't be able to affect you as much. But they're not expecting you to be strong. They're not expecting you to respect yourself. 
that is why they keep harassing you. That is why they won't leave you alone. Because they think they can pull you down. They're very selfish. They have a crabs in a bucket mentality. They're envious of your healing. They're envious of your success. So they will try to pull you down. Because your no contact makes them feel like you're better than them. Which is the cause of everything they do to you. But even when they're harassing you. And they're trying to tear you down. Even when they're treating you like they're subordinate. And stripping you of everything you have until you're left with nothing. They still think you're better than them. Because they know that if you weren't better than them, they wouldn't have to do any of that. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.